conditions for the morning, the afternoon, and overnight into early Tuesday before we return to much more seasonal daytime highs. So uh, there you have it. That's sort of a breakdown of what we can expect over the next couple of hours. A wet and windy start to this work week. Now here's Lindsay. Nalini, thanks so much. You're welcome. The off-peak hours for using electricity will be expanded next spring as the province moves to cut soaring hydro bills. Energy Minister Brad Duguid is expected to announce tomorrow that beginning in May, off-peak electricity rates in Ontario will start at 7 p.m. instead of 9 p.m. Let's go live now to CB24's Cam Willey, who is out getting reaction to this story. So what are you hearing this morning, Cam? Well, uh, Lindsay, we're hearing a little bit of everything out here. We've been talking to people about the smart meters. Some people think those things aren't so smart. Some other provinces uh, simply uh, base your bill on the amount of electricity used. The more you use, the more you pay. No meter. Uh, other folks actually appreciate this. A lot of people were uh, uh, pleased that it's dropping to 7 p.m. Here's what some of the people had to say. To tell you the truth, I have personally switched to a fixed rate. Um, I, I don't know if it's the, the smart thing to do in the long run, um, but I'm on a, a 5.4 cent rate. Um, before, I wasn't really watching it because they really only save you money, uh, you know, when you're not using it at like one in the morning. <laughs> um, so I found that uh, fixing, you know, going to a fixed rate is much better. So so we, we've, that, that fellow there said he's not paying attention to it at all. We also talked to some renters here. They say uh, they're not paying attention to it. Uh, other folks say when you take a hard look at the bill, over half of it is things like HST, an admin fee, uh, which is a regulatory fee, they call it, uh, debt retirement and service delivery. So the actual hydro weights uh, uh, difference, almost inconsequential. So depends who you ask, Lindsay. I think this is going to be a pretty hot topic for the coming election. Oh, I think you're absolutely right, Cam. Thanks so much for bringing that to us. Toronto Police had a very busy weekend investigating eight shootings, including one murder.